try it out, see how you feel. Do you feel better, feel worse? Just feel tired. We've survived our worst day. Let's have a better day today. What's up my widows, it's me again and I've actually recorded this again. I usually only do this in one take to say exactly what's on my mind and uh, that's it. But I recorded it and I might put a clip in here. Enough, And I think that's a great thing and I want you to try it this week. If you, if you find that you're doing something wrong, you're ready. It was just the sound of the wind was incredible. So again, I'm in my car unfortunately. I tried to make a nice setting for you guys but it messed up, I'm sorry. And what he was talking about, he was talking about how I'd just been into a meeting where someone was talking about the day his wife suddenly left and uh, just overnight he had no idea and she left and divorced him and it was all horrible how people stepped in. But one of the things he talked about was the fact that his brother was going to come up and help him for a few weeks and stop at his house and he had the forethought to say no. And he knew his character enough to say no. And it made me think of a couple of things really uh two is the power of saying uh, one is the power of saying no and the other one is knowing when to say no about ourselves especially with people coming to stop at the house uh for some of us that can be good for some of us it can be bad i found that if i had someone come and stop to try and help me out it actually made it worse because i was trying to entertain them i was trying to help them i was trying to be good for them and i just didn't have enough time to just be myself so instead of being able to go into my room and just go to sleep or do whatever, be emotional, whatever. I couldn't do that. So for me, it was better not to have somebody there with me. And uh, so that's one thing I want to talk about, is knowing when not to have somebody there. Um, maybe you don't need the person there that you think you do. It actually be more damage. Maybe you just need someone to bring you food or, or something like that. So house guests can be damaging to us. Uh, when we're in that initial phase. I'm not saying it will be. If you're a different personality that needs to be able to uh, be have someone there with them, then that's fine. There's no right or wrong here, guys. Uh, but the main thing I wanted to talk about, really, was the power of saying no, especially in those few first few months in a year, maybe. Uh, I was told this at the very beginning, that I'd, at the very beginning, it has been about a month afterwards, there's always going to be something that people want you to go to or that you should go to. And usually when you should go to something, it's because someone's told you you should. Uh, you should do a memorial service. You should do this. You should come to this family thing for the kids or whatever. Uh, or it's um, our own personal or own cultural thing that we should go to these things. Um, we've been invited to go around to a friend's house, so we should go. Uh, but that's not always the case, because if we if we go... It puts an emotional strain on us. And so one of the pieces of advice I was given, and it was amazing, was if you don't feel up to it, just say no and tell them why. I don't feel up to it uh, because I'm too emotional today. Uh, and so I'm not going to go. And then don't let yourself be pushed around by it. And it was amazing the change that made in my life at that time. The power of saying no. Uh, sometimes I had a, a really pushy friend who would say, you should be doing a memorial service. You should be doing this for the kids. You should be honouring this. And I do, I I really wanted to do those things for my kids to honour their mother and things like that. But it was just too much. It was too much to be able to do that. I'm just going to plug this in because it's just flashed up there. It's going to shut off in a second. Um, and so I said no. Thankfully, I got that information beforehand. And I didn't go to as many family things or friend things because I didn't feel up to it. And if you don't feel up to it, that's fine. And you know what? Everybody's fine with it because... They want the best for you. So saying no can liberate you. And saying no and why is perfectly fine. So maybe give it a try this week. It's one of the few things that will really change your life around as a, as a new widow. Being able to say no to the things that you should be doing. Uh, okay, guys. You've had your worst day. Saying no to something is not going to <laughs> make it worse than that. So today will be better. I love you all and I'll see you tomorrow.